In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can grant access to users based on their role in Azure AD once connected to your FortiGate VPN. So if you're following along with my other VPN videos, you might want to check out the first video I created about Azure AD and SAML SSO on the FortiGate and getting those two connected. We're going to build a little bit on that and we're going to assign specific access to specific user groups based on those groups. So once you're in Azure, once you're in, uh, once you go to portal.azure.com, if you go to the Entra ID side of things, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on groups and then you're going to click on new group. So you really just need kind of basic settings here uh, for group for group name. I'm going to call this all access because I want this to have kind of full access on my network. Um, and I'm for members. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to set uh, my name here. And then I'm going to click create at the bottom. And then the, the next group that I'm going to create is going to be called limited access. And I'm not going to assign myself to that group at this time. I'm going to wait for when I do my VPN connection, since I'm just going to be using my own username. I can't be in, if I'm in both groups, it might confuse, um, you know, the FortiGate into which group I'm authenticating to. So I'm going to leave myself out of this one for now. All right. Then we're going to click create down here at the bottom. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to add those two groups to your enterprise application that we're using for SAML SSO on the FortiGate. Okay. So once we do this, we're going to go ahead and click on user and groups. And we just want to make sure that those two groups are allowed to use the enterprise application. So I'm going to just search for access. And then I'm going to click all access and limited access. And I'm going to click assign. Now with these groups, there's one piece of information that we need to reference on the FortiGate and that's going to be the object ID, right? So we want to get this guy. We want to copy it for all access, hop over to the FortiGate, and then we're going to create our user group. So if you're following along again, the first one that we created as part of the original tutorial was this group right here that's using our Azure Entra ID group, uh, enterprise application, but we did not specify a group, right? So at this point, it's just, it's any group, basically, that's a part of that enterprise application. So we're going to go ahead and cancel and we're going to create a group called all access. And we're going to go here, click add. We're going to select our Azure server, and then we're going to specify that object ID. We want to paste that in there. You're going to click OK, and you're going to click OK again. And then next, we want to create the group for limited access. So we'll go ahead and create new again, limited access. We'll click add. We'll select our Azure server, we'll hit specify, and then we need to go back and get this object ID. Paste that in there. Click OK. All right. Limited and all. And so now let's go ahead and add those user groups to our SSL VPN configuration portal mapping. So we're going to come to SSL VPN settings down here at the bottom. We'll just go ahead and we'll assign for the sake of this, we'll assign both of them to the main portal. And click apply. And then lastly, we need to write our firewall policies. So we're going to go to firewall policy. We're going to do create new. We're going to say all access incoming 
SSL VPN, and then we need to select our user group. Actually, I think we need to do that for source, not interface. All right, so source there, and then we need to select our user group. This is going to be all access destination because he's all access. Let's go all service all. Okay. All right. So we got our firewall policy there and that's for all access. Now we're going to create one for the limited access. So we're going to copy, we're going to paste below. And we're going to change our user group to the limited access. And we'll call it limited access. And then instead of destination all, um, typically you would kind of do this for internal resources, but because we're just doing a full tunnel and to be for the sake of uh, making the video short and sweet, we're going to just do, um, we're going to say that we just want this user to be able to access Azure. Okay. And that enable all this stuff looks good. Enable it. I really got to delete this workflow management, set it up as a test and I've been paying for it ever since. Okay. So we have our two firewall policies, one granting full internet access when a user's connected for our all access group. And then the other one just granting access to Azure for our limited access group. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and connect on my other device to my all access group. And we're going to take a look at what that looks like on the firewall. And then I'm going to change my user to the limited access group and we'll see what that looks like. All right. So as you can see, um, I'm now connected on the VPN and I'm part of the all access group. So if we go and we take a look at my firewall policies, I'll see I can click on him and we can see that now I have active sessions running through that firewall policy. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, I'm going to swap my user group. So I'm going to go ahead and break the authentication for him in session. All right. And then I'm going to search for access, all access. I'm going to remove myself as a member. And I'm going to add myself as a on limited access. Click refresh. Okay. So now when I connect, we should see me pop up under that limited access group. Okay. And now you can see I'm connected to the limited access group and my computer's not working because the only thing that I can access is Azure. So if we go take a look at the firewall policies, I have a session directed to Azure, but you can see it's a lot less sessions than when I had the full tunnel rolling through that other firewall policy. So at this point, once I'm connected, the only thing that I can access is anything in this destination group or this internet service group. So um, usually people will use this for internal communication to specific internal resources. Um, this to me was the easiest way to just kind of show the different groups and how you can kind of really limit access to specific employee groups. So, I hope this was helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next one.